or dried. In this video, I'll show you how you can use GDB inside Emacs. Okay, so without further ado, let me get into Emacs and I need to write a small C program to show you the demonstration. To open the file, uh, GDB examples, right? Dot C. Okay, so stdio dot h. I need to define two function. Check. Check uh, GDB one. Check uh, GDB two because I couldn't find a better name at this moment. Okay, our main function will return an integer value, and we have uh, assign an integer value of ten. Then we'll call up check uh, GDB one share in the main function, and then I have a print statement in main print out the integer with new line call up the variable and this is our main function now if I want to gdb1 and then I have to declare again an integer of n to t then I have to write printf in check check uh, gdb one it's supposed to print the uh, numeric value and have to call up the variable like this then here I call up the second function to provide the name provide the result okay now the third one void check gdb2 okay here is another integer value is assigned to 30 and then I have to write a print statement which will uh, in check uh, gdb2 function and it will print out the integer value with new line then I call up the integer variable and close out the function all right if I write correctly it should compile without complaint okay so let me save the file okay so call up my shell command line gcc hyphen g means i want the debug symbol inside the executable okay so i call gdb example dot c the output will be gdb example 
okay and if I it compiled fine okay so if I see the output GDB example all right it's showing fine okay so it's trivial so, <laughs> so that is so if you want to run GDB inside Emacs now I have a working program right and the binary is also so if you haven't already mapped a specific key to call up GDB you can do so from MX prompt just go to MX prompt and write GDB press enter now if I go oh before I run this uh, GDB by default come with a two window in inside Emacs and GDB has several other aspects. If you want several other aspects of GDB to pop up in a different window on a same screen, for that you need to change a variable in a GDB configuration inside Emacs. For that, you need to go to the customization section, Control X and C, and write GDB and looking out for multiple window here it is gdb many window by default it is off i turned it on before this recording of this video for the demonstration purpose so you'll get a multiple window on a single screen with a different aspect of gdb okay this option has to be turned on if you want the effect i'm going to show you okay gdb mini window okay fine so now if i call up gdb and if i call up gdb example okay if i press enter see you can see it spawn up a six window in a screen and you can read and see the title of the each and every window is different it start with the leftmost corner where is your gdb prompt is where you fire up your gdb commands okay on the below window your source code file on the and leftmost bottom window will ha be having a frame of stack frame of a GDB example on the rightmost top window is a local register on the right middle window is a input output of the program and rightmost top bottom window is for your breakpoint okay to start with because my cursor is sitting here right you can see on the GDB prompt to start and run it just press R see one of the window gets populated right you can see right hand side middle window get the value of the running program okay okay say for instance if you want to set a breakpoint on line number five where the uh, where your main function start okay so all you have to do b5 you write it on the gdb prompt on the top left corner you can see i wrote it press enter look at that another window get filled in right hand side bottom window which provide you where I set my breakpoint. Again, if I set a breakpoint to line number 11 and press enter C, another one get filled in on the right bottom corner window to breakpoint, right? Now, if I go ahead and do the same thing in there for line number 17, C, another breakpoint gets set and right hand side bottom window show you where the breakpoint gets set okay so now if you if you run it again okay run this 
executable again see another two window leftmost side bottom window will show you the stack frame pointer line number seven okay and the right topmost window here look at my cursor is moving it's a local register and this look at my cursor is moving on the window which is just get filled by running it after giving breakpoint okay so if I run it again see it gets another one and look at the 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 register got change and the value of the variable okay so this is a very nice way of getting all the inform information in front of your eyes instead of hovering through with the different windows to look out for the result it is a wonderful way just everything in front of you just do whatever you do normally on gdb generally we run gdb on the terminal and probably few people run gdb on the terminal with a tui interface there is a nice tui interface uh, there with the uh, gdb if you run it on the terminal it will pop up with the tui fantastic similar this is a gui version of gdp inside emacs it spawn up different frame in a single screen which will allow you one gdp prompt and five other window or frame which consists of different types of output you will play with your gdp you can easily configure these windows too according to your test or need so this is a very good way of getting debugging information of a program so if you haven't tried it you might give it a shot just to see for yourself how useful it will be for you and if you are sitting sit inside emacs living drinking sleeping all inside emacs you are bound to know to wake and do better things with this uh, and the possibilities are there i show you the all the op customization option in the very first screen when i change it to multi window right there are other variables too go ahead look into them change according to your need it is a fantastic way of getting all visual representation all important information in front of your eyes without hovering i'm tracing the thing again and again so you get the essence of it okay so it's a nice way of doing debugging inside emacs i'm showing you a very ordinary simple example just to see you can get the graphs of it okay so i hope this will be useful to some people thanks for watching